Trek fan update and a channel change video all in one. So let's go ahead and talk about our channel changes. I am going to change my channel, just changing my posting schedule to uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, and then I'll probably post once or twice throughout the week. So I'm just kind of cutting back on the uploading. And also that's because I am, um, for when I do my shot, my stash, I um, think I'm only going to choose two to three palettes to use either out of my palette drawer stash or the palettes I have up here in my baskets. So I don't think I'll have a uh, monthly palette shop my stash anymore. So there's that. So I will try to post an eye look or two throughout the middle of the week or a mini review or something like that. I just want to come back on the uploading. I'm a busy working adult. <laughs> So I don't find a whole lot of time and sometimes when I come home I just want to go, oh, you know what I mean? But there will still be plenty of content. I'm just taking out like three days, three or four days out of my uploading and just uploading less. But still having content. Yeah, so we'll still have, we'll still have our palette recap of looks. Especially since I'm only going to do two or three palettes. Since you know I'm doing those two or three palettes. You'll know, you'll see many looks with those, so if you're anticipating on it, you're like, ooh, definitely want to see what you create with that. We will still have the palette recaps. I won't have a palette recap this week. Uh, I did film it, but then I deleted it because I was going through, so I was just going through some stuff here. <laughs> nothing, nothing serial, just trying to figure out what I wanted to do, how I wanted to change up my uploading schedule, you know what I mean? And also, I almost forgot to film this so there's that so i don't know hopefully you guys don't mind uh if you do do unsubscribe because i'm uploading less that's fine totally understandable i've been uploading every day a week for like oh last almost two years i think well, over a year um so i understand big change big change for me but that's just how i want to take the direction of my channel because for me this is just um just a hobby and i'm trying to get more this this towards what we are third month into the year i want to get more use out of my makeup i want to hit more pans on things i want to use more things up but i'm going to be trying to buy less as well so wish me luck guys wish me luck all right that's it that's all i have to say for that so let's get into our um oh no the words have escaped me project pan that's it okay so we're going to be rolling out some things and rolling things in so yeah i did use up the two two powders okay sorry about that I had to sneeze Oof. i'm a loud sneezer so and when i start sneezing i sneeze more than five times a week i look like i'm sick or something but i'm not i don't know what's going on i think i'm getting overheated over here that tends to happen also, I just got over a sinus infection too, so. All right, so I have the CoverGirl Outlast Active Spray in my project pan. I'm going to roll this out because I have not touched it since I've had it in my project pan. I did use up, I did tell you I used up the two powders, but then I started to sneeze, pause, and came back. Um, I used up the Charlotte Tilbury. That's gone. That was a good powder. I'll probably wait till it goes on sale again to repurchase it. I mean, I used up the Becca Set and Hydrate Refresh Powder. Good stuff, too. I went through two minis and a big one. So, not bad. <laughs> if you don't like my sniffling, I'm sorry. I sniff a lot. Okay, so we have the Pure Raw Beauty Christy Palette. I'm going to put this... I'm, I was bound and determined to keep it in, like, all, all year. But I've gotten... I can use this out of it. I've actually used it once this week. Sorry, I didn't I did not film that. But I think I'm going to hmm. I'm just gonna still keep it out in the project pan, guys. Gonna keep it out. So yeah. But I'm actually making some root lead ray. I'm starting to get a pretty big dip on the dandelion shade. Oh look, you can see it. 
and we're getting somewhere over here on the shade tribute hopefully you can see that i don't think you can see that and then on the other side here i've not i've only made a little bit of lead weight in the shade camelot and it just does so these two shades so yeah still need to use more of the side and continuing the side so yeah staying in we're holding strong folks holding strong and to add to that, I'm actually going to add in my Tarte Let's Be a Mermaid palette or whatever it's called again. My sticker's long gone. Because it's got all these brand shimmers that need to be put to use. I can use 90% of these on my inner corner. I actually used the shade Bubbles in my inner corner earlier this week. It's beautiful. Oh, if you like this, you can still get this on Tarte's website. It only has three mattes and then it has... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven shimmers. So, yeah, if you like mainly shimmers instead of mattes, this is your palette. I just really like this palette. So that's that's into our project pan. So we have two palettes in our project pan. Yeah, so that's probably why I'll only be picking like probably two palettes to use out for the week. We're doing things. <clears throat> and I have. The Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I'm actually going to roll this out. Made a little bit of lead weight, but not much. So that's being rolled out. But I am going to roll in two lip pencils. I've actually been using these a lot. This is the Pat McGrath Suburbia lip pencil. I'm going to roll this in. I've been really liking using just lip pencils. So that's being rolled in. And then I'm also rolling in the ColourPop be pencil in the shade Hopti Hopti which is just a nice dark brown Ooh, no. so, yeah. so those are the two lippies in our project pan and then I still have the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand that's still going strong keeping it in our project pan I will use this little mini concealer up and maybe it give me the go ahead to put in a full one so Staying on our project pan. And then I have two primers in our project pan. We have the YSL 2 J Clot Blur Primer. I'm getting high. I'm almost done with this. This will stay in. And we have the Hollywood Flawless Filter. As you can see, we've made some headline. Head away. Headlines. Head away. And this is the shade 4.5 me. I have the bigger version. In the shade Fair Pale because I'm just using it underneath my foundation as a primer. Once I use this up, I will use my bigger one. So still staying in and going strong. And I have quite a few things to put back. Because we're not making a whole lot of headway and I'm starting to get bored of them. So there is that. So we have the Pat McGrath Labs. It is the little single eyeshadow in the shade Synthetica. I'm gonna put this one back up. I'm starting to make a dent though all right there. So maybe I'll hit paint later in the year on it. So, but this is going back in our stash. The Will Powder Blush. I've gotten so much use out of this, but I am going to put it back in. Oh. Keeping it out. Holding strong on this one too. Keeping it out. Staying in there. The other two items we're going to put back in our stash. It is the Becca Opal Flashes Shade Highlighter. I have made more. I made more progress on it, so I expanded the little hole to right up to here. So I'm going to put that back in our stash. And then we have the RMS Beauty Luminizing Powder. I was going to use it in my inner corner, but I have not touched it. So we're going to try to pull it once every couple of weeks to use as normal highlight, like what it's intended to be. So put that back in there. So in total, I'm rolling out two, four, five items. Used up two items. Kept one, two, three, four, five. I kept five items originally. And I put in two, three so far. And I have three more items to show you. So I have put in the Tarte Stay Spray Mini setting spray here. So we have that in there. And then I'm also going to roll in the Maybelline Lasting Fix. Because I've almost used this up too. And I feel like if I put this in the project pan, it will give me more, more reason to use this baby up. So that is that. 
and then you're going to be shocked. I'm putting a full-size foundation into our project pan. It is the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot Foundation Concealer. I have the shade medium 240. We're going to use this up. So they're good foundations. Pretty, pretty full coverage. Um, I don't have a problem with it. The only thing I don't like is the doe foot, but that's okay. It's the only foundation in my collection with the doe foot, but we're going to use this up. Hopefully we can use it by the end of the year. So yeah, so now we have in our, as a whole, for our project pan, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have 11 products. So I've actually decreased the items and I also decreased the items by using two items. So yeah. All right. Uh, thanks for watching my video. And remember, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, main posting days. We'll randomly post in the middle of the week or beginning of the week. Something like that. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.